The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Enu Tabi here with a Transformers third party unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at New Age Toys version of Beachcomber. This is number 41, or Jones. He's a geologist. Um, very cool. I decided to pick this up a while back. I'm going to take a look at the packing and the figure itself and everything it comes with. Before we get started with that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. That helped me out quite a bit. Try to get the channel monetized. I can't do it without you. So go on up there, hit the like, the share, all that good stuff. Help me out. Um, also check out the other reject cons. It's Kato's collection reviews, Larkin's Lair, and Sardin's Dunes by you too. All right, so let's get started with this. Uh, it's pretty plain packaging here. We've got the grid lines, some nice artwork here on the side. Like I said, uh, New Age Toys, the Legendary Heroes, number forty-one. Uh, get two two versions. Of this. this right here looks fantastic. This looks basically like a little version of Fans Toys, right there. So. We got him on the back here uh, with some birds sitting on a log from uh, what the Golden Lagoon episode. Uh, but it doesn't come with any birds or anything as far as I know. So, And then the same thing here on the side. Here's the bottom of him running and transforming into a dune buggy. Here's the top. I've cut the tape. I haven't done anything with the figure itself. So we're going to directly open it right here so you can take a look at it directly. So we get... Uh, that's pretty much it. You get some directions. You get a blaster weapon, the sealed in package here. This is sealed, not a Ziploc. So. And then we get some directions. And hopefully it'll be fairly easy to transform. Sometimes new age stuff is a little bit more complicated than what you would think. And then here's the figure in the clamshell. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get it out of the clamshell and take a look at it. Here he is directly out of the box uh, pretty cool like I said he's a he's a neat looking little dude so you know uh, we've got paint here everywhere we've got a nice look at this good lord look at the ab punch good god very cool nice looking little figure stiff joints right out of the box the, the, the leg here and this this is a little floppy I am not gonna deny that but Here's the back of them. You can see the, the lights and the headlights. Very clean overall. The wheels just got like these pins for wheels, kind of plain there in that part. Robot mode is really nice though. You gotta look at this guy. Overall, we've got the, the yellow, the red, and the blue on the center of the chest. We've got the gunmetal inlay in here in this piece. Silver on the visor. Like I said, he comes with a blaster. That's about it. Wish he did come with a little bit more. The headlights are painted silver. We'll take a look at that mode. Let's do a comparison here in size. Um, let's kind of put him right there and see how he compares with like, uh, here's Magic Square's Bumblebee. And I think that looks pretty good. I need to lower the camera just a hair just so you can see it. Let's see if we can bring it down here just a tad. Okay. What do you think? I, I don't think that looks bad at all. Take Bumblebee out, and we, you know, we're gonna do it. Uh, Magic Square Prowl, not bad either. I don't think I think this guy can work with Magic Square. You, you let me know in the comments. I know everybody's like, ah, oh, just keep the, the lines together or whatever. Do Magic Square, or do New Age, but some figures I think are interchangeable. So here it is again, side by side. Very cool. I think that works. We're gonna run with it. Hey, he looks pretty cool. Like I said. Uh, nice overall, very clean all the way through. I will say the ball joints here is just a tad loose right here than I like, but articulation is very nice. Like I said, we got an ab crunch, we got a waist rotation, uh, head will spin side to side. Uh, it will not look down. Uh, arm goes out to there. We've got more than 90 on the bend. Uh, do we have a rotation at the, no, we don't have a, yeah, we do. Rotation at the elbow, very nice. Arm goes around 360, okay. Uh, we've got front hip skirt here, leg all the way there, leg all the way to the back, leg all the way to the side. We've got a 
nice knee bend here and then we've got uh, ankle rocker right there so you can see all that very nice uh, picked this figure up from Chosen Prime so you can check those guys out pretty good price on this guy I think I got him for right under 40 maybe so overall nice bot I'm gonna go through and transform him I'm gonna take his gun out here plug it into his hand for the thumbnail but I'm gonna go through and transform him into beach comber mode and you can take a look at him all right all right so this transformation is actually probably one of the easier ones from new age so basically what you want to do is come around here to the back and flip this whole assembly up like this and go ahead and take the arms out to here just get them out of the way and this this piece hinges so you fold this piece up and it hinges up like this and you're going to take and bring this around actually and it's going to fold back in so it, it's pretty neat the way they the whole back of this is hollow and it basically forms the the back of the um, doom buggy if you will so then this piece let's see if i can get this to go over here like that forms the seats like that see how you already got the seats take the hands fold around and then there's a tab right there you can notch it in do the same thing on the other side this thing is really painted nice so on the back of the feet here the easiest way to do this is to take the heel spur and just fold it out here to the side like that take both of these gray pieces that form the roll bar go ahead and fold them on out they will go all the way out like that you can go ahead and tab the legs together. You can go ahead and tab the roll bar together. It's going to come apart, but you can go ahead and do it. And you're basically just bolting this together. It's pretty impressive. Now, this is probably one of the, the simpler uh, transformations for New Age. So, and then it basically comes together like that. Uh, these pieces here that were the heels were actually just fold over the hands and, and cover that. Yeah, that is and then you're going to bring the roll bar and tab it together and you get, you get this cleaned up a little bit better but and that's it and that is probably the easiest new age transformation i have seen so far like i said you can tighten his hands up a little bit better but it's pretty neat you got uh the back of the dune buggy you can see the inside for the seats we got these lights, nice stat and die cast here. I think it's die cast. The metal here is painted with some green or blue. Can't really tell the color there. Um, and then you can see his, his head. Not much you can do there, but that's pretty neat. It's very small. I, I don't really have a close comparison here. We could. Now this is a, a micro machine. So you can basically see uh, Prime is actually longer than Beachcomber. So, but. We've seen a robot comparison beside a magic square figure and it worked out nice. So very clean. I really like this figure and you know, I wish new age scaled some of their other figures scaled better, but I think the mini bots, this is a definitely a, a good positive add to your collection. So definitely check it out. New age makes some great stuff. I'm gonna get their Cyclonus and maybe some more stuff. I'm a big magic square guy. So nothing changes on that front, but there's some things I would definitely want to check out from those guys. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this quick review of the New Age Jones uh, number 41 or their version of Beachcomber. Uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the other Rejecticons, Kato's Collection Reviews, Larkin's Lair, and Sargo Noon on Spa 82. Like I, I said earlier, I, I need you to subscribe, share this video, like this video, watch all the videos. Help me get this channel monetized so I can do even better and greater things, and I can only do it with your help. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it.